Free kick and a chance here for Kelly. He scored! Yeah. Incident's going to be extra time winner. Connor Jennings, James Norwood, yes! James Norwood has scored it. De Vries with the cross, the header, it's in. It's Connor Jennings. Good afternoon and welcome to a trip to the moon in what today should be a title decider. First game up, Hull City at home. We are seven points clear of them. Ten games to go. A win puts us ten points clear of them. I mean, even I can't mess that up, surely. And then we played Charlton at home as well. So since you're last with me, a lot has happened. If you look at our budgets for a start, they've decided to increase their wage budgets. It's a bit late. The January transfer has been and gone. In fact, all of February has been and gone. I mean, I, I suppose we could go out and pick up a free transfer, but I don't know why I bother. Um, none of the free, trans free transfers that are available at the moment are any good. So we might just hang on to that until we reach the championship. Once the release lists start coming out, I mean, I know the youth players especially start coming out towards the end of the season before it finishes. I might pick up a couple of the Premier League rejects, but I mean, I picked up Broadhead this this year early on, but we'll, we'll have to see. I'm not sure what's going to happen there. So we look at the schedule. Um, since you were last with me, which was the was it the Gillingham game? It was the Gillingham. It was the the Kieran Morris Gillingham game. We got knocked out of that cup finally. Now, Hull beats us on penalties. I, I, like I said, I've tried desperately to get knocked out of this cup. And this is the quarter-final stage. So there's loads of games still left to go, and I didn't want to be in it. I played a really weakened team, and Hull played their full team. And it went to penalties. <laughs> it still went to penalties. And you look at Benny Ashley Seal on the wings and all sorts. Uh, Ryan Elabiusu, who is one of the under-23s. I mean, I, I rotated as much as I could. Um, and you may notice a new name in there. I'll get to that in a second. Then we played Accrington. 1-1-0. As I say, really comfortable. We didn't score until the 18th minute. But it was a comfortable game. We should have been well ahead all, all through. Um, and then we played Doncaster. We played Doncaster off the park. I mean, look at Kane Wilson's getting a 9 in that game. Then Forest Green. Don't really like Forest Green. So we battered them. 2-0 up after 19 minutes. Then we decided to rest a load of players. And then on to Disappointments. A 2-1 away defeat to Bristol Rovers. They scored in the 94th minute. That was a wonder goal. We equalised in the 85th. You think, ah, it's a draw here. But a wonder goal won up for them. And then Rochdale. Rochdale nil nil away from home. I mean, you could have had a sleep in this game. It was the most boring game I've seen. I think there was like two highlights the entire game. The best player on the pitch, obviously, defenders. Sam Hughes, Kane Wilson, and then Jack Colbeck. Nothing happened. They basically cancelled Rochdale out, and we were useless up front. On to why you can see a new player in goal there. It's Alberto Rostigan. Now, there's a story behind this, because my director of football went out and tried to sign two players. Now, I didn't tell him to, but occasionally they'll bring a player in, and sometimes they're good. So there was a bit of money sloshing around, and I couldn't find the right players. And he put a bid in for our left winger. I thought, oh, oh great, I really need a left winger. So when it comes to sign, hit you know, sign him. I hit sign and didn't notice that it wasn't a left winger he, he'd actually agreed terms with. It was a goalkeeper and the left winger rejected us. So we brought in this goalkeeper. And I have to say, he's a great goalkeeper. Look at him, three-star current ability, five-star potential, much better than Davis. So I signed him and I thought, he's going to take you straight in the team here. Because Davis isn't saving any long shots or anything. And you look at his rating, he's getting a 6.88. Now, if you know anything about goalkeepers in Football Manager, they don't get high ratings. But he's already sitting at a high rate, higher rating than Davis. So, he's made some great saves as well. So, we're going to keep him in. He came from a team called Mestre. Now, I've never heard of Mestre. And I'm sorry, Italians, if you're watching this. But, I'm not even sure what division they're in. It just says, it's Serie D. They're in Serie D there. It says right at the top. Why didn't I see that? And look at their ground. It's nearly as bad as Wrexham's ground. But I bet you they can keep all the stands open. Right, so... Forget all that. We got a new goalkeeper, which is bizarre. So we're going to go into today's team. We're going to go... Where are we? Get to fixtures here. Match preview. Team selection. So, I'd already set up the team before I decided to go to sleep the other night. And if we have a look here, we're going to play Hines up front. Broadhead, the one wing. Bowler's back. Thank God, Bowler's back. I know... I know... 
Hughes, Hughes. Morris had a great game last time round, but I'm still not playing him. He's still useless. I know he's got he's got one good volley and set up a couple of goals, a couple of goals up. That's his entire contribution this year. That's it. Taylor in midfield with Coote. Colback just sitting in front of the defence there. Nazita, Hughes, Brown and Wilson and Ross to get in goal. We have a problem with Nazita. He was injured for a few weeks there and he's, this is his first game back. So I did miss him. But the problem being as well is Brown then got injured as Nazita was coming back. So he has to play because I've still no Monte. And while the other Brown can play at left back, He's better player in centre defence there. And look at Hughes. Hughes is really coming on at the moment. Already up to four stars now. 1.6k a week wages. Can't complain at that. And another half star potential there. So he's one that it's going to step into the championship no problem. I'm, I'm being presumptive here. I think we're making the championship no problem at all here. So we're going to get straight into the game here. So as you can see, Nazita is lacking match sharpness. But I don't have any other options. And no realistic options anyway. So you look at their team, Honeyman, O'Dowda, De Silva, Jimmy Greaves. I've never seen Jimmy Greaves since the back. Lahaj, Long, they've got a good team. They've got a better team than we have, to be honest. And they're playing very defensively too. Henriksen's their best player. I should really stop calling out their players before the game because all it means is they will score against us. We know how it works, football manager. Anyway, I'm going to be passionate. And we're going to passionately avenge the, the cup I don't want to talk about. Defeat on penalties, of course. Um, the game I tried to lose. So straight into the game here. So see how we line up. I can't see us being overrun in midfield. I don't know. Maybe down the wings. We should encourage our players to make sure to part. Um, yeah, <laughs> that. So I'm trying to do these in less takes. So I'm leaving in the mistakes I make sometimes in um, pronouncing pronunciation. There you go, pronunciation. Um, I think it sounds like a creative and, and things like that so I think it sounds a little bit more natural than me stopping every time I said a word wrong and having to go back and re-record now you can't do it in the games of course because you'll miss goals like that uh, is he offside? he's offside thank good for that but I'm trying to make it sound a bit more natural and free flowing and get a bit more personality in and we all do make mistakes so anyway enough of that Wilson into the box, and, oh, is it the bar? See, that back post, we have Sam Hughes there now instead of Monte. Um, he's not as prolific, though. I'm going to say that, he's going to score now. Nazita's got the ball. Out to Coote. Back to Taylor. All the way back to Broadhead. What's he doing defending? That scares me. All the way back to <clears throat> Rostigan. I will get his name eventually. I've got to remember it. I've got, it's a fair couple of times I've said it. <coughs> Sorry there, I'm just... Uh, Hay fever's catching up with me again. Coot. Back to Wilson. This is a really patient build-up. Bowler. Can he beat his man? Doesn't need to. Back into Coot. Oh, what a hit. Ali Coot. You, you sound like you're from Iran, but that is some hit from Scotland. That reminds me of the Banks goal against Forest Green that came down off the bar. Look how far out he is. Look at this. One touch. Bang. Didn't know he was left-footed. I should probably know that. I should probably play on the left-hand side of the midfield, but <laughs> it might help. Anyway, he's an 8.1 now. So the, here we go. If we can hang on to a 1-0 or draw, I'll be made up. So Nazita, long throw into the box, and we've scored the bowler. Now, tell me if I'm wrong. This, it seems exploity to me. I think I've mentioned it before. But we scored so many goals that are just a long throw into the box and headed in. Well, keeper should have done better. I don't know what he's doing there. But having said that... We used to do it with Dave Charno. We used to just launch it into the box with a throw in and try and get on the end of it. Now, nine times out of ten, we wouldn't score directly from it. But the ball would come back out and we'd score. Nick Henry would score a few of them. Or Alan Marne. That's going back. Anyway, what is going on? Overload on the right-hand side. And now he scored. There's three or four players on the right-hand side waiting for the ball. So he scored on 41 and 40. Good half. Good half in a title decider. We've had more shots. Possession-wise, they've had a bit more possession. I expect that. They've, they're very defensive and they're a better team. So we should try and challenge them to make up. go... Yeah, I, get, I can't talk anymore. We should challenge them, the team to go out and prove a point. You know, it's really early in the morning as well. I'm recording this on the day it comes out, which is a first for a week or so. Normally, I've got two or three recorded. Um, but not, yesterday, I was tired. I wanted to go to bed and watch TV. Um, 
So we're going to be passionate and say, I'm pleased with your performance. Keep it going, lads. They all love that. They all love it. So if you look at the team, a couple of defenders having good games, a couple of midfielders, and I've got a feeling this is going to be, I was going to say equalise, oh, it nearly was, it nearly was, I thought he was going to hit that from the middle of or the centre midfield and go straight in. We just need to keep an eye on Broadhead, he's conditioning wise, he's a bit low, and Bowler is as well, but Bowler's just back from injury. So not a great deal in happening. So, I was going to tell you about my new series, but forget that, here's a highlight. So Burke, back to Jimmy Greaves, back to the Silva Lopez. That's a good tackle. That's a good, but no one's no one's chasing up. Lahaj giving the freedom of Pretton Park to do that. Bowler gets it away. To Hines comes as an overlap over here on the on the left hand side. Bowler. Now he eventually does come out to the left hand side. To Nazita, down the wing for Broadhead. Can he get a good ball into the box here? Now he's down as an inside force. He's right footed. <sighs> nearly, nearly. Right, let's make some subs. People are getting tired. Broadhead is knackered. That's my option. No, I've got another option. Josh Clark is now back from injury. So he's going to go in there as a winger. And Bowler can now be a winger. I'm going to have to take Bowler off soon anyway. And maybe, uh, towards the end of the game, maybe Nazita. Callback can play there. So it might go to three in the middle. So Hull. Lehaj with a long throw. Honeyman has the ball. He is a danger. He's a good player. I tried to sign him in, in the summer. Oh, you hit the bar, get away. So anyway, I was going to tell you about my new series at starting. So next week, Command & Conquer comes out. And I don't know if you like Command & Conquer, but when I was a kid, I loved it. It was brilliant. So the remaster comes out next Friday, and I'm starting a new series. I've taken a day off work as well to do it. How sad am I? Anyway, hold the ball. Henriksen, who was their danger man. That is a an interesting tackle on a yellow card, but he's got away with it. Hines goes past one, get, oh, nearly goes past two, but Wilson's got the ball. Can he get the ball into the box? Come on, Wilson, get the ball into the box. Good ball to the back post, and bowler's there. It is 3-1, 3-0. I thought they'd scored. 3-0, title decider. I, I can't see us not winning the title now. Ten points clear. Great bit of work from first Hines getting past a couple of players and then getting tackled. But this ball in from Wilson, with his left, with his wrong foot, with, with his left foot, great ball in. Bowler at the back post, no one's watching him. Nodded in. So we're gonna we're gonna use that to make a couple of changes now. So I'm gonna pause it because I don't want too long to go. And there's only four minutes left, but Nazita could do with a bit of a rest. So Nazita for Colbeck. Um, we'll bring on. Have we got any midfielders on the bench? I don't know any midfielders. Sid Nelson, because Hughes can play there. Look at that. And I'm gonna take Bowler off. Bowler's had a great game, but he's gonna come off for uh, Kieran Morris. Yeah. Alright, alright, he's coming on. Wait for all our wingers to be back from injury and we'll be fine. So Morris has the ball. See if he sets up another goal here. <laughs> he's going to have to play forever. And he does. Oh, Hines <laughs> with the finish. Morris with the assist. What is Kieran Morris? He's an enigma. I mean, he had been he'd been rubbish on loan. He was rubbish the first few games back. The minute I start talking rubbish about him in the... Good finish though. The minister starts talking rubbish about him in the videos. He starts doing things like that. I mean, we were terrible the last two games. So we beat Hull 4 0. So I think we win the league from here. Uh, <laughs> we do appreciate the episode. We passionately appreciate those efforts. Very pleased with the resulting performance. I can't believe we beat Hull 4 0. Maybe I should have been expecting it. So we look at the league table. Ten points clear a hole. Um, I'm not even calculating that. <laughs> we're miles ahead of everyone else. So we're... Okay, unless there's an earthquake or, dare I say, some kind of global pandemic in the game, we have gone up. So we're going to be in the championship next season, so I need to really start planning for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip on now to the Charlton game. Oh, just forgot. Steve McLaren is the whole manager. <laughs> so I'll skip on to the Charlton game and I'll see you in a second. So here we are back at the Charlton game. I've been informed that if we win this game, it could possibly secure our playoff place. Um, see if we don't secure a playoff place from this position. This series ends. I give up. <laughs> no way we're not at least in the playoffs. I mean, I can't say it's not, you know, best will in the world. We're promoted, so... Um, 
on to today's game then. Hines is about to become the top scorer all time for Tramia, apparently. But I don't think that takes... It doesn't. It doesn't take into account previous seasons. Uh, he's only scored, what, 18 goals in total? Yeah, um, yeah, 18 goals. So, I don't know what to talk about. It's talking rubbish. In fact, if we go to home here and take a look at... Not my history. Or club info. History. Um, and then landmarks. Nope. Records. See, that's even wrong there. Uh, James Wong got 21. So, I don't know what's up, not. I don't know. Anyway, into the Charlton game. Team's unchanged. I've got the hiccups, of course. Um, and I say yeah, I'm a lot, I know. And I'll point it out, you'll notice it even more. So, Lyle Taylor up front. Um, good player. Jake Forst Forster Kasky in the middle there. Good player. Um, let's hope it goes well. <clears throat> A draw, again, I wouldn't be too displeased with the draw. It's Charlton. Charlton are a good team. Let's be passionate. We can secure a playoff, place it worst. <laughs> okay, we'll say that. So straight into the game here. And first few minutes, nothing really happened. You can see us beating Hull 4-0 and then losing this one rather daftly. So Bowler, Jake Taylor, Broadhead, <clears throat> cuts back inside into Coot. Out to Wilson. Ball at the wing to Bowler. Back to Coote. Back to Wilson. Back into Coote again. Colback. Oh, what a goal from Colback. I wasn't... I keep saying it. I always say it. I'm not expecting that. From Jack Colback, you're not expecting him to hit them. I mean, you know with Tim straight away. Look, big ginger head. But, again, Coote drives us forward. He's been really good the last few games. Back to Colback. Left foot. Right across the keeper. Into that. Now... I think you'd be a bit disappointed with the keeper there. I mean, I, as a goalkeeper, I'd be disappointed. Although I couldn't catch a cold. Right, so we're going to... Um, I don't know, praise? I don't drop enough praise for them. And that's why, because only two of them cared. <laughs> no more praise. Not much else has happened in this half. Yeah, 1-0 up. Bowler's been booked again. I told them to stay on the feet and not dive into tackles and get stuck in because the amount of yellow cards we pick up is unreal. Um, we've had less possession. They've had five shots. To, well, we've had five shots there too. Reasonably well. But we're doing alright. We're doing alright. Be calm. Be assertive. Let's just be calm. Don't get complacent out there. There we go. They all love that. Apart from one. I'm not often calm. It's either passionate or aggressive. They're the two, the two ways I am in everything. I passionately play football manager, or I do it aggressively. Right. <clears throat> Not much has happened again. We're going to tell them to get creative. Everyone loves a bit of get creative. Now, I don't know why Rostigan feels a bit pressurised by the get creative feedback, but he's a goalkeeper. I don't want him to be creative. I want him to catch the ball. Like Broadhead's coming off. He's having an awful game. You know what? The sensation that is Kieran Morris is going to come on from as a winger. Um, and Bowler's not having a great game, so I'm going to bring on Clark for him. And put him as a winger. They need match fitness into them anyway. So here's Nazita with a long throw. If we score again from this, I, I am calling hacks. We nearly do. We, no. I promise you there is no exploits or hacks in there for throw-ins. We just um, score a lot of them. Now here's Pierce. This is going to be their only chance of the game. Watch them score it. Nearly. I mean... Uh, he was offside it was Macaulay Bond um, Travi fans don't remember Macaulay, Macaulay Bond from the, the National League but oh, Jake Taylor's in now but he should be doing better from there Liam Walker's going to come on for Jake Taylor and he's going to play as just a central midfielder because I don't think he can play that box to box very well so now we got really two advanced playmakers on and it's kind of a boring 1-0 win I'm happy with that Nothing we need to address. I'm not going to tell him anything. He's right. I don't need to give him any sp anything specific. It wasn't spectacular. We did what we were supposed to do. Um, and and there we go. 13 points clear now. Did Hull lose? They lost 2-0 away at Bradford. So, <laughs> 13 points clear. In fact, you look at, you look at the, the teams in the bottom four. We struggle against all those teams. <laughs> we're better against the teams around us. 
So, uh, yeah, have we secured our playoff place? That's what we need to know. No, we haven't yet. Callback shines. We'll say yes. I'm not... I'm, I'm really worried because when you tell Callback he's played well, he doesn't like it. Oh, he did that time. No, last time he shouted at me. So what we're going to do then is, like I said, I believe we are promoted already. So I want to come back as we're about to clinch the title. So I will be back probably around mid-April when I think we can guarantee the title or at least guarantee promotion. But next time it comes up that the next game guarantees promotion, I will, I'll start from there. Listen, I, I keep saying it, I am absolutely blown away by all the support on this. I mean, nearly a thousand people a day are watching, you know, a 37-year-old dad play football manager with Tramia, which is, you know, unheard of. Now, next year, obviously when 2021 comes out, I'll mix it up a bit. I'll do, it, I'll do some sort of, you know, journeyman save or maybe try and take a team that went... In fact, I'm thinking of taking a team that was, that's in the lower reaches of the, um, <clears throat> the non... <clears throat> I'm going to die here. The non-league pyramid that were bust. So say like a Darlington that went out of out of business and reformed. So I'll try and take, I'll call it boom to bust. No one, or bust to boom. Bust to boom probably works better. No one steal this idea. But bust to boom, um, that's what we'll do. If t Man Football Manager 2021 comes out, of course. And we'll take a team right away from the bottom there and try and take them to the top. Or they'll, get, they'll go bust again or I'll get sacked. So listen again. Thanks very much for watching. Appreciate all the comments. In fact, the Wembley final one is now up to nearly 3,000 views. I think it might be over 3,000 views at this stage. So if you do enjoy this, please like, subscribe, comment away. Ask me what you want to see. I mean, I'd love that. But thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all again tomorrow.